Hello and welcome back to Fallout 1. Now, I've got the books. I believe I've got the books. Yeah, I've got the books. Let's go tamper my armor to make it stronger. And then I'm going to go and uh, cheese the game or exploit the game a little bit with the respawn and death claws. So they, I think they respawn every hour or something and I might as well do that. Now, there's something that I find very unfortunate, but this is my playthrough here, so whatever, but this has been extended. I've extended the uh, the timer for the water chip. Apparently, in the first 90 days, if you don't go to the necropolis, everyone in the necropolis dies. So the necropolis is a city, it's that city right there, it's full of uh, ghouls. So I won't be seeing any... I will be seeing one unique ghoul, who is a main like character of the Fallout series, but in general I won't be talking to any other ghoul characters really, which is unfortunate, but it's what happens. So what, what happens is, if you don't go in there in the first 90 days, super mutants come in and kill everything. So... <laughs> Joy, that being said, let's go back over to Adriatum. Or the boneyard or whatever it's called these days the ruins of Los Angeles now he's he's actually there let's just get my gun out or put my gun away just to be nice stay in line yeah they're not very nice these guys had a chance to get to the hub, yeah, and visit Miss Scapleton, or Stapleton. Yeah, here are the books. Miles, let's just, just click that. Miles takes the books from you, he starts flipping through them. Hmm, yes, hmm. He mumbles to himself for a few minutes. Well, I think I can figure out, I, I think I can figure it out. But it will take a few day. It'll take a full day for the bonding to occur. Is that acceptable? Not a problem. Miles takes your armor from you. Miles hands you your armor. Hands your armor back to you. It seems to glint a little more than it did before. <coughs> well, I think it worked. Hope it helps you out. Done. And I have my armor. What's this? Max and disc. Already used to have no. Yes, yes. Weight. How much weight can I carry, actually? I'm actually going to do something. I'm actually going to go and buy micro fusion cells from someone else. I think the Gunrunners are pretty much the only guys who actually have microfusion cells in this game. I believe. I'm not sure. I think they do. I'm pretty sure they're beyond the death clause, but I am going to be doing the uh, the death claw trick. So the death claw trick is literally just how much weight can I carry? Oh, ho ho! Two hundred seventy-five, huh? Can carry a lot because I'm at max strength and I maxed out all my things. I am sad by the fact that I can't actually uh, child death claws. Yeah, where be the death claws? There and there. Is that all of them? No, there's a third one right over there. Mm, 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 mm. All right. If I'm here, can I actually hit him? I can. Missed. Let's try again. Missed. Great. Great. Just what I wanted. Right. 
guys, please shoot him. He's coming straight at me. Oh, he's coming straight at me! And he missed, which is nice. Always aim for the eyes, that's what I've learnt. Ah yes, there's another death claw. I go right here. Or here. Now I'll go for him. And I'm pretty sure I can't hit him. Oh, I can hit him! And I did. They're fast and they are scary. They're more scary in the, the uh, sequel Fallout 3, I reckon. Right. See a warehouse to the north with a moat of glowing green goo, goo around it. This also looks like that looks like a vault guy in the middle of that. Barrels of nuclear waste. Very good. Right, let's try and talk to them. What is your business here? I want to buy some weapons. Ah, very good. Customers are always welcome. Come in, but please keep your weapons holstered. Go find Zack. He can set you up with anything you need. Okay. Let's holster our weapon. Play nice. Yeah, as I was saying before, I am saddened by the fact that I'm not going to be able to do any of the quest lines or missions from the Necropolis with, uh, I, I believe it's called Set, the main guy who's the leader there, who is a ghoul, for they are all now very much dead. But hey, this is Fallout 1 here, so it's the name of the game. What are you going to do, huh? Continue onwards. Gunrunner. Hi, I'm Zack. What do you want to buy weapons? Let me see what you have to trade. Okay. I'm pretty sure he has microfusion. Did he? Did I just click back? No, they're right there. 500. 27,000, right? I'm just going to skip out me doing this. Right, I am done. I'm holding quite a bit of weight, but I think I can hold. Oh, I can hold quite a bit. Anyway, so I got the terminal plasma rifle and I got this power armor. That's the hardened power armor. I could do that again for the. Uh, of a set of power armor that I'm gonna get later on. Anyways, for now, let's just get to killing death claws and see if I'm correct in my uh, thinking of being able to kill them. Like respawn, like they, they give a thousand XP for every for everyone you kill, so that is incredibly you know good. I have 600, basically over 600 rounds of microfusion. That will probably last me the rest of the game, I'm thinking, and I'm using this weapon. I have not had any luck with like finding the Nuka Cola van or the alien blaster. So that's just a shame, but whatever. The alien blaster apparently, well, I know it's the best weapon in Fallout 1, but I haven't had any luck in uh, finding it even though my luck's been very high. <laughs> I've just not found it. Which is bizarre because apparently you should most definitely stumble across it if you have high luck in the game. But that has just not happened for me. Now if I just 
rest for an hour. Go into the field of battle. This put yep, there's one right there. There's one over there as well. Oh, I'm such a fool. I could have been going in this way the entire time. Then blasting that fool. Nice, he's dead. Right, so I think sometimes it spawns two in, sometimes it spawns three in. And I've leveled up. So this is the thing. It's worth doing purely because of uh and I get uh more perks. Right, so Right. Before I do that and choose, I'm going to save. Let's see my stats. I cancelled that. I have a critical chance of 10%. There's a perk later on that will basically make that 100. So, I don't know if it's even worth. Hold on, hold on. If I if I choose better criticals, because I think on my research note, I go for that. It hasn't increased the critical chance, it's just increased <coughs> the likelihood of hitting a critical. Alright, okay. Uh Energy weapons. Should I? Should I? Boost energy weapons. I think that just... Increases the chances of 95% with distance. I think that's what it does. Hopefully we're all good here. Dead. I've got that move. Oh, nice. Killed. Earned. Powers and XP. Right. So. Let's see if I'm right in my thinking here of waiting an hour. It's okay because I've got like uh, 89 days left. But I think there's an invisible clock <laughs> ticking with the super mutant menace. Yes, look at that, it spawns them in. Right, okay, so... What I'm doing is essentially just using them as a farm. So, I am going to be doing this for a while. So I'm going to skip it out here and there, apart from like the bits where I level up. Right, so that's what I'm doing. Now on. <sighs> okay, level up character. Nice. Uh, oh yeah. So like, I have to kill ten death claws. That's that's it. Ten death claws. I level up, so it's well worth it. And energy weapons again. It's getting boosted until it is done. Lot pick? I'm sure. Science? Yes. Repair seemed like it was very useful, but the, the, that quest line, uh, there was a quest line in the necropolis to repair a warp pump to help out the ghouls there who live in there, but considering that the super mutants have killed them all, I can't do that, that quest line anymore. Again, it's the 70 was useful for repairing my suit though, so there is that. Okay. Uh, energy weapon at max level, unable to increase. What's 
that increment it. All right, so I'm pretty sure that is just basically like the further distance you are away from an enemy. Well, in fact, I think we can try it out pretty much very soon-ish. Right, okay, we're at level 11. There's a death cloth there. <sighs> Only I could show it off a little bit. I don't think I can really show it off right now, yeah. I'll find some way of showing off how... Right, okay, so if I... Right, he's all the way over there. This is quite a distance, right? But with me putting putting all my points into energy weapons, yeah, like, I'm pretty sure these stats go up further distance away from the enemy you are, so... And look at that, I just one-shotted him. I am going to become a wasteland god. Ooh, boy, I'm just destroying things left, right, and center. Now, I have another thing. It's called bonus rate of fire. Uh, this perk allows you to pull the trigger a little faster. You still remain as accurate as before. Each ranged attack costs one AP less to perform. Right, okay, so this is just, I'm just gonna become a complete god of the wasteland. Essentially, I think that's what it's trying to say to me. You have become death. Oh, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, 4 AP. <sighs> right, let's just see what happens to this guy. This nice death claw that's over there, that's behind the building right now. <laughs> so if I was to just, I think I can get one, two, I can get three shots off on him this point. I think I get another action point with one of the perks, so that means I can fire this three times, because at the moment I can only fire it twice. But it's best just to do aim shots, because you can just end up getting like amazing kills with it. That's why it's best to do aimed instead of just the uh, shots that cost free AP. The... I can't remember what you call them. What are they called in this? They're not called fats. They're like action shots or something like that. I can't actually recall the name of them. Aim shots, I think they're called. The aim shots in this game, well worth it. Because it has the chance of getting criticals and stuff like that. So, I will be getting, when I hit level 15, I will be getting Action Boy, which will boost it by another action point, one of these green dots here. And that means I'll get free. Um, targeted shots. Oh, I've level up really, really, indeed. Science. Right, okay, uh, for some reason Ian's become a coward. He has just became a coward for some reason. He just won't get into the fight. I don't know why he won't. I'm a scientist who can shoot guns pretty good. Yeah, Ian, he's just a massive coward. Maybe he's on low HP, and oh, that might be something. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Let's just have a look at Ian. No, he has stims, and he has those guns. I don't know why he's just... He's just decided he doesn't want to fight anymore. Maybe if he uh, comes across raiders, he'll actually start shooting, but... 
the moment, he's not really... He's just running away from the fight. Alright, Action Boy. There's the next perk, because I'm level 15 now. Each level of Action Boy... Or girl, if you wish. Will give you additional AP to spend every combat round. So it will increase these, pretty much. Right, I think it's one of those ones that you can do it twice. And that should give me... A lot more. It, it should allow me to have like three aim shots by the end of it. If I upgrade it one more time, that is the uh, action boy perk. Right, let's just finish off science and then go into lockpick. <laughs> well, that was easy, wasn't it? Uh, another level up. What would you know? It'll be at maximum in no time. <gasps> level up. Okay. Right. We're at level seventeen. Once we hit level eighteen, that's when things have gone ridiculous. Okay, so I have my small guns at 83 and I have perception at over level 8. So, that being said, I should have the most overpowered perk in the entire game here. Sniper. Right, okay. You have mastered the firearm as a, sor as a source of pain. With this perk, a successful hit in combat with a ranged weapon will upgrade it to a critical hit if you almost make a look roll. If you also make a look roll. Right, so <coughs> this with Sniper it's all dependent on this the chance to uh, get a critical hit. Now the chance is all dependent on how much luck you have so uh, one luck equals 10%. Now that I have luck at 10, it's boosted my critical chance to 100%. So that means every critical I hit, every shot I hit is most basically just going to be a critical hit and it's going to do massive damage. And I've pretty much broken the game now with uh, this perk. Now it's just, what things do I want to put my skills into? Well, not any of these because I'm done with all the weapons. First aid doctor. You know what? I've not actually used my first aid or doctor in ages. Sneak, steal, traps, pair, speech. Uh, I can basically put in speech, can't I? Pretty much. I don't need repair. Traps are okay. Steal. I don't really care about stealing. Gambling barter and outdoorsman. Uh, I'm not going to put it into Outdoorsman because we don't have that much more to go with the game. I mean, I'm already at... I have 87 days left. And after, I've done, after I'm done leveling up here to level 21, I'm going to be doing just like the main quests. Just like the quest lines in this area, then in Atrium, and then... Well, this is Atrium. Atrium, the hub. I'll go to Necropolis, then I'll go back to the Pyramid of Steel, then I'll go and deliver the water chip to the Vault, then I'll figure out the Mutant Menace. I think that's what I'm going to do. But firstly, let's check out how overpowered this is going to be. Right, so. If I aim for a crit shot, it should just be instantly critical. It's a critical. Every hit's going to be a critical. Yeah. It's 
ridiculously powerful. And another level up. Right, okay. Uh, I'd really be playing speech. I don't know, why not? Why not? That's what I say. And another level up. And, luckily enough, Ian is actually, uh... He's actually got back into the fight now, so he's got his mojo back. Right, so let's just see what I have. Right, so Tycho, he has my dynamite, I might as well take that back. Plus that's my keycards from the, the glow, and antidote that I don't think I'm ever going to need, but just keep it just in case. Uh, but he has full metal jacket, he has armor, this is gun actually. Where is his gun? Where's his sniper rifle? What happened to his sniper rifle? Right, maybe that's why he's been doing shit damage. Because I somehow I got rid of his sniper rifle. Interesting. I'll have to get it back, back somehow. I think there's a Brother of Steel quest that will get it back for him. What's going on here? What's going on? Uh, how about you? Right, right, okay. I don't know what's going on here because it's it's saying he doesn't have the pistol that I gave him. The big good pistol. Essentially, I gave Tycho a, a sniper rifle. Katja has a power fist because she's a melee character. And I gave Ian that big dock off weapon, but apparently I can't get it back. That must be a glitch. I think they all have them, have their weapons, because Ian has been like, when he's been in the fight, he's been having those like massive sound, sounding like bullets hit shit. So, uh, I don't know. I'm a bit worried about that, but whatever. Look, we're at level 20. One more level, then we're done. I'm just worried about their items and stuff like that, you know. Let's see what happens when we go into this area right here. We go here. Not that. I wait. An hour. Save it. And if I just... Bar two of them. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that it's not showing the weapons that I gave him. So Ian has definitely has he definitely had the Blade Runner gun. He definitely had it. But it's not showing up. It must be it must be a glitch. Okay, so uh, there's blood everywhere in this level because I've been killing a hell of a lot of death claws. And I only have two more to go. These two guys. Three. I think that's three of them. Oh, shite. Alright, pissed them off now. There you go. Ian has the big gun. Three of them. Fight three at once. You know what? Let's just do a turn. Big bad death claw. It's about to die. There we go. It was killed. And I have leveled up. To what I presume is the max level. Also, I have 191. Microfusion cells. I don't know. I tried going back to the the gun runners, but like they don't sell any more ammo. Ammo doesn't resupply. Only books and caps seem to resupply. So that that's bad, because <laughs> I actually need that for later on. And uh, yeah, let's just check our boy, because like he just he just used his gun, right? 
It's not showing his pistol, but he has it because like he shot it and yeah, it was a very distinct shot. Now I'm level 21, the final level. Uh, I could look for all the other points, but why bother when you can just get another action point? So I'm going to do action boy 2. And I'm just going to put the rest of the points into speech. Whatever. It might be useful. Next level? Nothing. I'm at max level, so I've become a wasteland god. And I'm full up on energy weapons and science and lockpicking, even though I don't use those two, really. Oh, I think I use science here now, but in general, I'm done leveling up. Now I can do a few quests. Uh, what else is there to talk about here? The action boy. Alright, so that's four. It's hard to, like, look at these. I'm pretty sure I can fire, like, um, quite a lot of times. I think I can get four, like, three aim shots off with Action Boy level two. Because it's added another point. Maybe it doesn't show on the thing, but I believe I can have three aim shots in one round, which, believe me, is absolutely killer what isn't killer is I have 86 days left and I don't know about the super mutants but my plan is do all the side missions in this area do all the side missions in the hub go to the necropolis find the water chip go back to the brother of steel to say hey look I rescued the paladin give me another set of armor maybe I can maybe like Ian or Tycho can equip it I don't know I don't know then head up back over to Vault 13. Then scout the north for this other military installation that I learned about in the uh, the GLOW facility, the West Tech Research Facility. So that sounds like a plan. I'm going to get onto that next time. But if you did enjoy this, it's going to be pretty short because I'm going to cut down the footage. But it's been about like two hours of grinding, but I'm at level 21, max level. And if you have enjoyed, please do like and subscribe. I will be back next time with more Fallout 1. And I'm going to research where to get more microfusion cells, because I am actually running out of them. <laughs> Alright, until the next one. Bye.